Hi. Um, hi. <laughs> it's been about two years um, since I uh, did a recording of my poems. Part, part of me just wants to say sorry for that because my intention has always been to want to share them with you. Um, I'm hoping that this will kind of propel me back into that sharing and um, yeah, sharing of my poetry. So um, I invite you, as always, it's an open invite, grab a cup of tea or a coffee and, and join me. Um, I am actually joined today, today and I want to honor the women, um, yesterday being International Women's Day, and today I'm in the presence of three beautiful, strong, wonderful, beautiful women. Um, actually, one of them is Kelly, and um, this is her art, and I was really taken by the beauty of it, and the metaphors and the layers and the depth of feelings that actually went into these arts. And this is why it is with her permission displayed here. So I hope that um, visually it's going to offer you, um, you know, a place to kind of zero in perhaps on and, and, and respect it and honor her work just as much as I'm wanting to do. Okay. Um, okay. This poem is called, Filling the Void Within. Filling the void within took me on a voyage in. Life living a life disconnected from myself. Hypervigilant, skills on seeing details within exterior environment, seemingly small, giving many clues, hearing sounds sensitive to slight variance in vibration, even the quiet sound of another's breath, feeling feelings of others <laughs> as if my own reacting within my body, sending signals, flooding self with poison of stress hormones, filling the void within with others' thoughts and beliefs, believing hearing spoken within my mind integrating within my psyche, subconscious to my conscious mind, filling the void within with others, desires, demanding obedience, suppressing self-guided guidance, seeking salvation from experts explaining expectations required for existence. Hmm, misguided, existing, exposing, exemplary self-image, filling the void within, externally seeking, searching for love. Even a moment one may feel the opposite of pain, playing, exhausting game of hide and seek, seeking love, subsequently hiding self within the depths of one's dark mind, getting lost not being seen, filling the void within, externally, extremely unsustainable. In the end, expecting experts to fix and mend issues they created and labeled only 
loop self within the never ending suffering game. <laughs> Dying inside, dreading death. Dear friend, me too. <laughs> I have been present to inner pain. I have experienced helplessness and hopelessness, hoping for the pain to end. I have lived a life of lies, trapped self in darkness, confined by mind, replaying prescribed place, unable to affect change living a life, not quite alive, wishing for story of my life to end. Dear friend, me too. I gobbled up leftovers and scraps, tried to feast upon others' approval, soaking in advertise joy, numbing the pain within, never reaching, feeling fulfilled. Dear friend, me too. I did not know the true understanding, seeking salvation outside of self, most dangerous demise, decaying inner essence of self, residing in shame of my past. Dear friend, me too. <laughs> no one explained every experience perfectly leads one towards one's purpose in life. No one demonstrated the power of unconditional love and care, expecting I earn my worth playing prescribed roles within their play. Dear friend, me too. I feared change, complacent, comfortable in midst of pain, controlling variables the best one can, expecting to earn feeling of love, only witnessing predictable results. Dear friend, me too. A life spent searching outside of self, needing to learn and understand my worth can be measured through others' mindless mind. My being never have required other seeing. My thoughts and beliefs never needed others' doctrines. My voice never needed others' permission. My purpose, divine, powerful, and profound without others' guiding map. Dear friend, me too. Please seek within yourself. Step into your heart beyond the illusion imposed, beyond the fear, past of corpses of your past. Venture towards version found in solid foundation of your inner wisdom. Unlock the door to your heart. Allow your mind to take a breath 
and stop judging yourself. Dear friend, me too. I offer you no advice, no package solutions, no empty promises, no magic cures and no shortcuts through the painful journey of exploring and experiencing your life. Dear friend, me too. This is your sacred journey, only yours to discover beyond the layers of illusion imposed upon oneself. Dear friends, the sacred journey yours to take, your choice to choose, your intuition will guide your path, the worth yours to discover, the love yours to realize within yourself. Thank you. Beautiful.